I believe we are recording now, so hello everybody, my name is Sir Paco, and uh, I typically stream on Twitch, but every now and then I pop a video on YouTube so uh, so that I can let people know some funny things that are happening. In this case, it's going to be a how to, um, how to get the DMM player on your computer so that if you're interested in playing Japanese games or those region locked games you can figure out how to do it um, it's it's gonna be a quick tutorial not a whole lot in detail um, but it should be extremely easy to follow and it it'll allow you to play games like frozen necro suicide mission or destiny childs the japanese version if that's uh... if those are games you want dmm player is a japanese uh, version of I, I would say Steam maybe but not really because it doesn't have a whole lot of PC games on it it's more of a uh, store to play mobile games on your PC DMM player uses a version a themed and customized version of Bluestacks to run Android games on your computer there are some games that are specifically ported into a PC version like Destiny Child um, but most of the other ones will uh, be just a portal to either the browser version of the game or a Bluestacks APK. Alright so to get started you are going to need a couple of things one an email that you have access to so that you can verify your link once it's been sent to create your DMM account and you're also going to need a uh, VPN I'm not going to recommend use this VPN over that VPN. Um, you, depending on your needs, you can use a free VPN if that's what you so choose. I use PIA, but that's my personal preference. It's just what I use. Um, there's no particular reason uh, behind that. Um, I've been using it for many years because it just works. Um, I haven't had a reason to look for another VPN. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna pull up the browser where the first thing you're gonna want to do, actually let me close out of DMM player so I can pull that up when the time comes. Let me close out of Knox also. Alright, so with the DMM player you are going to Google search DMM game player and that is gonna pull up the search list and maybe my search might be different from yours I doubt it but if it is then you're gonna want to find the link that looks similar to this one it's going to take you to the DMM game player page there is a video player that DMM creates and it's called a DMM player that's not what you're looking for you're looking for the DMM game player once you pull up this website oh that's another thing to note you want to do this on a Chrome on Google Chrome um, I'm not familiar with Firefox or Microsoft Edge or any other uh, browser but because of the built-in translation features that Google Chrome offer it makes this process just that much more um, easy to follow so you're gonna want to download the game player once you hit that download button I already have mine downloaded so the auto um, pop-up isn't happening yours will but if it doesn't you can always click here to get that download going again hit that download button once it's finished downloading, then you have the option to install it, put it wherever you want, doesn't matter. If, it, if you have multiple hard drives, running it off the SSD will be ideal because the Bluestacks files that it uses are going to go into that install folder. So the, the faster your hard drive, the faster it can load the games and run them just a little smoother once you have your download installed the next thing you're gonna to want to do is go to dmm.com so dmm has two separate websites the dmm.com which is for English speaking people 
It also has dmm.co.jp, which is where all of the good stuff is at. DMM offers people outside of Japan a few of their services, but it is a very, very limited amount of things that you can do. Um, well, I, when it comes to the games, you're, you're locked out. You have very few games that you can get being outside of Japan. And the whole reason for this tutorial is to help all the people that follow me on Twitch. Link is going to be up there in the corner, twitch.tv, Sir Paco. And, uh, well, Sir Paco Zero. Now, to create the account, we're right now in the English uh, DMM website, which is going to make this super easy. Go to DMM account registration. You're going to come here and create a new account. Type in your email. I'll use this one. I do not want to receive their newsletter. Send a certification email. And then it brings you to this link where it tells you to wait. Make sure you get your certification link. Once you get that certification link, then you're going to make it a thing. Click on that link, verify your email. Registration, dun dun dun. Registration was complete. Okay. Let's move this link back over here. I got another follow up email saying everything is good to go. It's in English because we used the English site. So, you know, it again, using the DMM.com to create your account is going to be the best way to go. Once you have your account set up, from here, you're automatically logged in. You have the sign out option. From here, you can click on DMM Games, and it's going to take you to their long list of games. But this is where the VPN is going to become important to you. Because there are some really good games, like Necro, uh, Tokyo Necro Suicide Mission. Excellent game kind of the reason why I started this tutorial to let people know how to access the game um, in the future I will be doing a mobile version of this tutorial because you can also get these games on your phone you're gonna have a really hard time finding APK files for this game and even with the game even if you do find the APKs you'll probably still be region locked because Japan wants their really good games region locked, I guess. I don't know. So from here, find a game that you want. We have already uh, pre-chosen Destiny Child and Frozen Necro. I was going to do the tutorial with Dead or Alive um, Extreme Edition, but they're, they're pretty uh, showy with it, and I don't want this video, if it can ever be monetized, to get demonetized. So... We chose Destiny Child and Frozen Necro Suicide Mission. Um, find a game that you want to play, click on it. Now I chose these two because they are two games that I play and they have two different links. If you click on the Destiny Child link, it is going to bring up their custom DMM Destiny Child page. And as you can see, it changed the browser to a .jp because it's a Japanese game. There is no way around this, uh, you know, well, you can find ways to patch the game and have some English words in it, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's a Japanese game. Done. To play it, you would click on the Destiny Child link and it already it comes with the two options uninstalled people installed people 
and you're gonna see this theme copied over and over with all the games you want to play uninstalled people means you don't have your DMM player installed yet installed people is it is already installed and logged on before you install these games you're going to want to load into your DMM player and be signed into that I'm gonna go ahead and pull up DMM now Alright, so DMM player is here. I am signed into my DMM player account. Now you can access all the games and try to get them to play from here. We're gonna use Destiny Child as an example, actually. Destiny Child is region locked. You cannot play it because I am not in Japan. Okay, very sad. Frozen Necro. You cannot play it because you are not in Japan. Well, this takes me to the download screen. You go to the download, you hit download button up here. Inside of DMM Player, you will not be able to get a translated version of DMM Player. Sorry, this item is currently unavailable in your region. Oh no, what are we to do? Well, you hop on down to your VPN connect to Japan once you are in the Japan region you can now hit download and it will start downloading the game if you do not have it already now to play these games, that's the blue stacks warning because it's about to load the game since I already have it installed. The download, it's a 2 gig download for Frozen Necro, so it, it'll take a minute. Let's move that over to you. Um, but yeah, so once you, once you have, once you're signed in, once you're connected to your VPN, now you can install and start playing your games. There are some games, once you are loaded in and connected to their servers, you can disconnect from the VPN and continue to play. And that will allow you to have a better connection to whatever game it is, like with Frozen Necro here. Comes with ads. This is the custom blue stacks that comes with the games. So, in order to play Frozen Necro, you got to be connected to the Japanese server. Wait till you're loaded in. Loading, loading. I wait till I'm on the home screen. Once I hit the home screen, then we disconnect from the VPN. Home screen, right here. Disconnect. And now, wait till the disconnection is official. And now you can continue to play the game, load in, and do everything like normal but off of your base internet so that you have that faster connection because some VPNs don't have that great of a connection especially if you're going to use a free one but if you use a paid one you'll have a faster connection and you can even play through the Japanese one but if you do that everything you do is going to be running through your VPN so you might get region locked out of YouTube or if you try to visit certain websites you're gonna be auto directed to the Japanese websites which is why I first thing I do load VPN load games disconnect VPN and continue doing my day-to-day -day things um, if any of you have any questions please come join me on my uh, streams at twitch.surpox0 um, I stream Monday Tuesday Wednesday Saturday 
Uh, times vary usually about noon central time, sometimes a little later. Depends on uh, what I'm doing, what I'm doing that morning. Um, again, I will be making a future tutorial on how to do the exact same thing but on your Android mobile device. I will not be doing any iOS tutorials. Um, I look forward to seeing you all there. <laughs> Thank you guys. Peaches.